My name is Anders Renuta. I got my bachelor's degree in uh, 2005 from Michigan Tech, and I got my master's degree from the same place. And my area of, my area of training is in biomedical engineering, and I currently work in computational biology. I make pictures that show um, how different parts of your body are related to each other so that we can understand how diseases happen. And by looking at the way the uh, different little components in your body are working, you can see maybe in uh, some people, one part is working a little bit differently than it is in the average person. And you could say, oh, that is associated with such and such a disease. I started my work in programming uh, actually before I got into college where I did a lot of uh, projects. The first one involved making a website for the Red Cross, my local Red Cross. I made a website describing uh, when the next blood drives are coming and just things that you should be aware of if you're going to be giving blood. And by volunteering and working at the Red Cross, I worked with a lot of medical professionals. Um, I was one of the people who was actually carrying warm bags of blood around at the blood drives, uh, seeing how the medical professionals are very respected and they're doing a necessary activities. So between uh, that programming and also the, the medical aspect, I knew I wanted to do something in that area, but I wasn't sure whether that was actually practicing medicine or whether it was programming. The best way to bring the two of those together for me was um, to actually focus primarily on the programming and then take some additional biology classes so I understood most some of the biology and then uh, by coming over here I was able to be surrounded by people who are very knowledgeable about the biology so I'm constantly learning from them but then at the same time being in the Bay Area I'm surrounded by people who know a lot about programming so it's, it's fun I'm kind of like a go between between the two of them and uh, constantly learning from each field. Bringing proper statistical uh, methods and programming, better programming practices into the world of biology is critically important. It's uh, one of the areas where biology has historically been really focused on the what's called the wet lab, which definitely is important. But today with the power of computers and programming, there's um, many other fields that are really getting ahead of biology in terms of what they can do. And for biology to move forward in the future, we really need to be able to keep up with those other fields in terms of uh, programming. The biggest thing that the work I do is it takes research and work that biologists in what's called the wet lab, who are actually working with uh, actual physical objects, um, they do all of their work and they gather their data. And then if, no, if nothing is done with that data, it can be wasted. But what my project involves is taking that data, putting it into a format online that many people can use and build off of. So the work that I'm doing, you could think of it being kind of like a, a foundation or a stepping stone that makes follow-on work a lot easier for other scientists. Every once in a while it's just something that was just an idea actually turns into something that real people that could be on the other side of the world are using and uh, one example is a project I made for being able to just work with images. I put something out there, somebody from Ireland found it useful, they made it a little better Another person from, uh, one person from Japan came across it and he made it even a little better. And at this point, uh, 48 different people have all done some small little bit of work on it. And it's, it's really fun to see how different people looking at different circumstances can all bring it together and it's helping everybody. And that's definitely a part of science. Uh, there's individual work, but being part of a team is very important. Uh, today we don't have the uh, lone genius who comes up with things. It's all about collaboration and teamwork and uh, you have to have trust in your team members.